Welcome to our live training session number 23. We're going to be tuning an Infinity G35 using our UpRev flash tuning software. Let's jump into some details about this vehicle. It has a K&N drop-in air filter. It has a 75 mil throttle body with a throttle body spacer and adapter. It has an intake plenum spacer. It also has test pipes and a catback exhaust. So it's very basic in modification and we're going to be tuning it on 93 octane. So now that we covered the details of the vehicle, let's jump into our live training session so we can get started tuning this with our UpRev flash tuning software suite. Welcome to our live training session here with our Infiniti G35. Now we just went over all the details of the vehicle. Let's jump into our UpRev ROM editor software so we can begin downloading a ROM file associated with the vehicle and then start our tuning process. So the first thing we're going to do is moving into our UpRev ROM editor software. We're going to see at the top searching for ECU. So we have to power on the vehicle so that the UpRev cable is able to detect the ECU type we're working with and we can figure out what that ROM ID is going to be. We're able to look that up in the UpRev database and be able to retrieve that file to begin with. So I'm going to turn my ignition key on here. I'm not going to start the car, just turn it all the way to the on position. We're going to see right now, wait up top here, it should show ECU ready. Once it shows ECU ready, we can see it at that status right now. It's going to, we're going to be looking for the ECU part number. And in particular, we're looking for this five digit strand right here. This is our ROM ID. So AC 405 is what we need to enter into the search field to look up what we have in the ROM database from UpRev. So I'm going to go copy this real quick. I'm going to move down to get tune in stock files. Click on this. I'm going to be going and just pasting what I've copied here, the AC405, where you can manually enter it, doesn't matter. We'll find here that I've pasted and I can click search. Now search is going to be looking up on the database from UpRev for equivalent files. What we're going to find here is that the AC405 has been replaced by the AC406. This is going to be what we want to download. In fact, we have two files here to download, the AC406 and the AC406 back to stock. Now the back to stock is going to be if you want to return your ECU back to stock at some point in time. <clears throat> The AC406, this is going to be the file that we actually work with here in doing our editing and our tuning process. So we're going to download both of these and save them to a folder so we have a centralized point that we can go ahead and retrieve these files from. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to select both of these. Go to Download Selected ROMs. And give it a second here. And then we're going to move into our directories here. So under uh, Documents, I have a folder already started here called UpRev. Now you could put your folder wherever you'd like. You could have it on the desktop. I just happen to have it in my in documents here on my laptop. So go here into UpRev and I'm going to be clicked on the UpRev folder, go make new folder. We're going to find it's going to be putting a folder in that subfolder. And then we're going to go and rename this here EPA G35. So we'll go back in here. We'll make sure we're clicked on it and click OK. Now it's going to save those files to that folder so we know exactly where they're at. Give it a second here and let it finish its downloading. And now it shows downloads complete. So the next step here is going to be going in here to edit tune file. The edit tune file is going to allow us to start to make our changes. So we're going to go here to edit tune file and retrieve that particular file. And we're going to find here it's opened up to that folder, EPA G35. And we're going to find we have our two files in here. Now, if you go to open, go to the edit tune file and go to try to find the file and you're not finding it's not immediately opening up, you're going to have to go into the directory or the location you saved it. So whether it's going to be your desktop, it's going to be on your C drive, it's going to be in your documents, wherever you've saved the files to. So right now,